Hey gang, Michelle McPherson here. First of all, I'm going to have to apologize for my voice. I've had this whole like bronchial infection thing and it's given me the deep um, voice that my husband says he likes, but it makes it kind of hard for me to project too. So apologies for that. Now I wanted to make a video for you uh, because earlier uh, Buffer, which is an app that I really, really love for helping get your updates that you want to put into social places, helping get it out to your Facebook and your Twitter and that kind of thing um, in the most frictionless, easy way possible. Buffer had an update and one of those updates was that they're now integrated with some other software. One of those things being Reader. Now Reader is what I use and what I talk about and what we actually teach inside of Always Be Shipping uh, as a really, really fantastic feed reader that works on your iPad or your iPhone. I, mean, I sit in bed most mornings and look at Reader and go through my feeds and that's how I kind of get up to date on what's happening each day. Now with Buffer integrated into Reader, uh, we've got a whole really, really great set of new ways that we can use both of those apps together. So today, just a quick video showing you how to do that. Um, so let's go to the computer and I'll show you how it works. So I'm logged into my buffer here. Why are you using buffer? Well, you use buffer so that you can do your daily sort of taking in everything that's going on in your market. That is checking your Facebook, checking your Twitter, checking your Google reader, and you can send out that is, you know, curate some updates for your marketplace, things that your friends, your followers, your fans will be interested in, your blog readers would be interested in. But if you do it all at once, and you send out everything all at once, it's just going to be kind of a flood of you in people's streams, which as much as they might like you, they might not like to see six of your posts in the half hour that you go through a curation workflow in the morning, right? So what we use Buffer for is to get those updates out to folks um, in, uh, in, a, in a limited way throughout the day. So what Buffer will do is rather than you having to, like some of the other scheduling tools that are available for social media, rather than you having to sit down and say, okay, well, this is an interesting post that I want to share with people. I guess I'll send it at, uh, after lunch, maybe, maybe it's 7.53 p.m. What would be a good time? When should I send that? You, it's a, it's a barrier to entry there. You've got to sit there now. Once you've decided, oh, I'd like to send this out to people, you have to then sit there and make a decision as to what time you're going to send that at which is just, again, it's another barrier to entry and we're trying to avoid that buffer, instead um, has some predetermined times that it knows via study of social media type of sites, when are the best times to send out tweets or Facebook fan page updates. And so you can just use their preset times or if you know your audience better, you can of course set your own times, like if you're in a different time zone. Um, but regardless, when you just send something to Buffer, boom, it goes off to Buffer and then it gets automatically queued to be sent out at some other point during the day. So if we take a look at my Buffer settings here, you can see that mine is set to tweet four times a day at 7 a.m., 8 a.m., 12 p.m., and 4 p.m. And then I have my Facebook fan page set to post twice a day at 7 a.m. and at 2 p.m. Any of these can be changed. And so whatever I send to Buffer will just automatically go out during those particular times. As you can see, it works with your Twitter or your Facebook fan page. Now, let's talk about how this actually works with the um, reader for the iPad or iPhone, how it works for Zite. Um, so if you go over to My Buffer, I'm going to have to cover up part of this screen, or sorry, if you go to Goodies. Uh, and then email to Buffer. I'm going to have to cover up part of this screen. This has your special Buffer email address. And you use this to send content from any of those apps. Flipboard, Zite, Reader are some of the ones that, that I use in particular. We, we go into some depth at those and always be shipping, but you can get an idea of how you would use them for curation in your marketplace um, on your own. We use those to send out content. Now Buffer actually has the ability to decipher the email formats created by these particular apps. So you're going to put 
your special buffer email address. And again, mine's hidden, otherwise somebody would go and send out some inappropriate update under my account, um, which could be really funny, but also might not be, depending on what they actually sent. Uh, so you'll send out something to your special buffer email address. The subject line is going to have the content of your post, so that's going to be like the actual tweet or the actual Facebook update, what you want to say about the link, and then the link uh, itself will be parsed appropriately and sent out also. So let's take a look um, actually on the iPad so I can show you how that looks. So I'm in Reader. I'm on my iPad or my iPhone. I found an article that I know my fans, followers, blog readers, my network would like to see as well. So you click the little um, arrow at the top and then you click mail link, which will bring up your mail screen. Within that mail screen, you're going to address the email to buffer, of course, and that'll be your secret buffer email address. And what Reader already does then is put the link in the body of the email, just like you see here, and it gives the subject as the actual post title. Generally what you're going to want to do is change that subject into something that will resonate with your audience. Um, so I haven't done that yet on this screen, but I will. I won't make you watch me type it out. And then I'm going to show you once I hit send how it actually ends up looking in Buffer. So back in Buffer, uh, my tweet has been scheduled with my post title, uh, which is what I changed the subject line to. So in this case, I said a high quality blog or backlink network, create a little curiosity in your fans and followers, always helps with the click throughs or the engagement. Um, and then because I didn't specify who this particular post should go to or which particular account should be used, it's also going out into my Facebook. Now if you look, because my buffers are both set up for two completely different time schedules, you'll see then that the Twitter one is scheduled to go out at 4.03 today and that the Facebook one is going to go out at 7.01 a.m. tomorrow morning. So something to keep in mind as you set up your times in Buffer. I love Buffer. I'm a huge fan of it. Um, and since Facebook changed their edge rank algorithm a little bit, um, you'll find that posts like this from services like Buffer are not depreciated like they once were, or at least not as depreciated. What I've seen is that it's pretty negligible, if anything. So uh, these kinds of services are certainly worth using and you will get the same kind of spread, the same kind of visibility as hand posted posts. Uh, so regardless, that is how you put together Buffer plus Reader on your iPad or iPhone. Again, it will work with Flipboard, it will work with Zite, which are all fantastic content discovery apps. I hope that you're using them and I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much guys. Michelle McPherson here and we'll talk soon.